Hi, welcome to Milieu Guide. I'm Margaret Martin, and today I want to talk about the free fracture assessment that we have on our site and the reason we have it on our site. So you see the middle button where we have the free fracture assessment. And the reason we have that is that for an online program, I need some sort of classification in order to provide you with the most appropriate exercise program for you. I believe that a one-size-fits-all when it comes to building bone just does not work. There's just way too many parameters. And so as we go through the fracture risk assessment tool, you'll see that it enables me to classify somebody based on their fracture risk and their exercise level or their current activity level. Because we know that for building bone, an exercise program that that is too hard can put you at risk. But an exercise program that's too easy for you is just going to waste your time. Now, the very, very best scenario would be to have an individual assessment done by a professional. And that's a wonderful opportunity. And if you do have that opportunity, I encourage you to look under our products and services. And when you click there, if you go to the column, the very last um, item, on the right, you'll have find a professional. And in this category, we have therapists in almost every province of Canada and some of the states that have taken a two day training course through Melio Guide. And these therapists are very well trained to help you to, to further individualize your program for you based on your physical assessment. And so I do encourage you to um, find a professional near you and at the very least follow the program guidelines set forth in Miller Guide. And as always, you can always um, send us an email or contact us if you have any further questions. So in the middle box, you'll see free fracture assessment. So let's go there and click on that box. So before we start the Fracture Risk Assessment tool, I just want to say a word in terms of con confidentiality, that the personal information that we collect is solely to determine your exercise level. Neither the information you supply nor the results are shared with any third party or used by Mueller Guide for any purposes other than to determine the best exercise program that's suitable for you. When you get to the question that asks for your DEXA T-score, we ask that you please refer to your most recent bone mineral density test. Your bone mineral density test will have T-scores of your lumbar spine. It'll also have T-scores for your hip. And so for this questionnaire, you should just use the T-score that corresponds to the lowest score from all the above scores. And note that if your T-score also has a reading from the wards area that's part of your hip. You shouldn't include that one. So just go to the next one that is your lowest T-score and so the most negative of the scores. The free fracture assessment is going to ask you five questions. So let's do it together. The very first question is your gender. So being that I'm female, I'm going to enter female. It then asks you to indicate your age category. I just had a birthday, so I'm now 50 years old. Now moving on to the next page, click Next. Select the range that best describes your lowest T-score. I have had a T-score and it is greater than minus 2.3. Next question is asking if you've ever taken steroid medication which excludes cortisone shots. It also excludes asthma medication in inhalers. Uh, generally, the guideline for this question is if you have been on a steroid medication of a dosage of greater than five milligrams per day for more than three months. I have not, so I'm gonna put a no. Next question is, have you broken a bone since you were 40 years old? I haven't broken a bone either. I've been pretty lucky. 
And do I have a family history of an osteoporotic fracture? So although I do have a family history of osteoporosis, my parents have never fractured. And so I'm going to put no. Now, all the data to date will classify me as low, moderate, or high fracture risk. And the algorithm that we have on the website is the same algorithm that was developed by the Canadian Association of Radiologists that provides the classification into low, moderate, and high fracture risk. The last question is a description that will help us classify your current level of exercise activity. So let's go through the questions. Now the very first one is for individuals who have not exercised in months, years, or ever. They might do light housekeeping, but they choose not to do the heavier work, such as vacuuming or yard work. If that doesn't classify you, then you can read the next one. You've been involved in a somewhat regular exercise program, one and two exercise sessions a week, over the past six months, and that includes some form of weight or resistive training. You do or could do all of your own housework or yard work. Next, if that doesn't classify you, you can choose that you've been involved in a regular exercise program, three or four exercise sessions per week. You started to incorporate an exercise ball, uh, you, or you're not intimidated by the thought of it because um, the level of intensity would involve um, you being more involved and hence sometimes incorporating an exercise ball. You might be involved in light sports or activities such as golf, dancing, curling, bowling, and you know certainly it would be uh, involving gardening as well. So if that classifies you, and I'm going to put myself here, um, varies from month to month it seems. And lastly, uh, for some uh, of my clients and users that have been um, much more involved, they have been on a frequent exercise program three to five times a week that involve strength training, lifting weights, for the past year or more, and they may be using an exercise ball all the time as part of the routine. And certainly they're involved in sports at a competitive level, or if they chose to be, they may not be, but they might be at a fitness level that's high enough if they chose to, to be. So those are levels. Um, they don't incorporate everybody's current level of exercise, but certainly within those four levels, you should choose the one that most describes your current level of exercise activity. Once you've chosen it, then you click Next. What it's going to provide you with is an answer that based on your questionnaire, you're at A, and it's classified me at a low fracture risk level, and that I would benefit from doing the athletic exercise program. So this is something that based on your answer, you'll be guided towards the most appropriate exercise level in the Mueller Guide Exercise for Better Bones. I hope that provides you with clarification on the Fracture Risk Assessment Tool through Mueller Guide.